you are now watching Juan Gotti Talking Sports. YouTube, what's going on? It's Juan Gotti here. We enter the Washington football team video, and in today's video, we have some breaking news from Dan Snyder. So, without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. But before we do, make sure you guys go down below, leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and turn on post notifications so you can notify when I upload a video about the NFL. In this case, I watched the football team. Let's get straight into today's video so as you see i'm a little you know laughing at the beginning of the video because of what this whole situation is as you guys can see by the title of this video man this is just a goofy situation we got some serious some spicy stuff whatever you want to call this going on in the nation's capital so breaking news just came out that washington football team's owner dan snyder daniel snyder good old danny boy is filed or has filed court papers against Bruce Allen, former Washington football team slash Washington Redskins president. Bruce Allen allegedly saying that Allen played in a role in the negative stories about the team's culture, man. So this is crazy. And let me first by saying this, Bruce Allen was the one that wore the pants in relationship, the one that ran this relationship. We knew this from the beginning. Bruce Allen bullying Dan Snyder doesn't sound like it's something far-fetched. You know, Dan Snyder even came out and said it himself. He got bullied in middle school. And I don't literally, for people that's going to take it to heart and take it seriously, I don't really mean he really bullied the guy. But we knew he probably had some say and some decisions that Dan Snyder really didn't want to do he knew bruce allen while here at his tenure in washington we knew he had all of the power we knew this guy was just like a dark spot over washington for the whole decade that he was here and the second that he left things just started to change now i'm not saying dan snyder is all good and whatnot all i'm saying is bruce allen was the bad man holding everything together he got over on dan snyder i wouldn't be surprised if all the other people that got fired the guy that used to be on tv larry michael i wouldn't be surprised if they were all teaming up on dan snyder now dan snyder is wrong in this situation because he should have put his foot down he is the guy that owns this team he can fire him in which the sense he end up doing eventually but that whole decade that he was here bruce allen ran dan snyder it's clear is that you can't tell me that he did and i don't care if you're trying to defend dan snyder this guy is a weasel he's a punk and it's nothing wrong with being a soft-spoken guy or whatnot but when it comes to your business your team you gotta put your foot down i'm glad dan snyder is finally starting to get it through his head this is what he has to do it took him long enough that throughout that whole tenure like i said bruce allen i'm pretty sure ran that relationship if you want to look more into this lawsuit i don't have the papers on hand right now i don't think it's out to the public or at least i couldn't find it so we don't know exactly what dan snyder is filing against bruce allen although they did come out and say that he's filing about the negative comments or the negative way he talked about the culture or whatever i'm pretty sure more in detail he's probably talking about the cheerleader incident about how Dan Snyder left the cheerleaders in the other corner. I don't even have to go down that road. We know everything that's been going on with the Washington football franchise. Just a bunch of turmoil and disgust this whole decade from Bruce Allen to Dan Snyder to Larry Michael. We don't know what's true and I believe some of it's true but at the same time I also do believe there is a little bit of bitterness in Bruce Allen since Dan Snyder fired him. I bet you when Bruce Allen got fired he looked at Dan Snyder and was like huh? Like, he, you really got the boss to fire me, man? I, that's what, that, that's probably what Bruce Allen was like. And like I keep reiterating, I, it's not known to be true or out to the public, but us fans, we know Dan Snyder was getting ran by Bruce Allen. I'm just happy it's over with, and Dan Snyder's finally started to put his foot down. But like I said, man, it's crazy to think how they were just friends, or at least to the public, we thought they were friends. And now you look at a, a year later after the firing of Bruce Allen, Dan Snyder's filing a lawsuit against him. But at the same time, although it is breaking news, we don't know what's 
true. This could very well be false, but like I said, it's out there. Take everything with a grain of salt, even with stuff like this, it is lying season. It could be a publicity stump at the same time. Why would you want to keep shining light on uh, the Washington football team in a bad way? It's been dragged through the mud by these two guys for the past decade and way too long. So, hey man, I just want to come on here with a quick little video. Just not really fun for these two guys. Fun for us because we get to have a debate about it down below. Like I said, man, if you're repping that burgundy and gold, watch the football team slash watch the rescues, whatever you want to call us with pride, which Dan Snyder is, the owner of the team. I'm going to back you up regardless. We're all against Bruce Allen, man. Let's just be real Washington fans. Dan Snyder, maybe outside of that Dwayne Haskins um, draft pick, he didn't cost us that trauma, or at least it's not out to the public as him saying that he did it. I'm talking the Albert Haynesworth stuff, the Kirk Cousins stuff, the Trent Williams stuff. This was all Bruce Allen, and I'm glad he's gone, and we'll see how this lawsuit, if it is real, plans out, man. But like I said, we all knew Bruce Allen was bullying Dan Snyder. Hey man, it's me, your boy Juan Gotti. I want to say that this video is actually real. You can look it up. It just came out and said that Dan Snyder is filing a lawsuit, but I just want to say us fans. Fans, we're gonna have a little fun with this talking about this whole situation because it's crazy how things has changed over the past year so let me know what you guys think about this video down below like comment subscribe are you in Dan Snyder's corner are you in Bruce Allen's corner or you really don't care about this situation let me know what you guys think about this video down below it's me and boy Juan Gotti you know we cover everything about the Washington football team whether it's on field or stuff like this it's a lot of stuff going on behind closed doors, man. Turn on post notifications so you can notify a little video about the NFL. In this case, I watched the football team. I'm out. Peace. Uh, cross me one time. That's gonna get you pop. Get you pop. Uh, uh.